Also news coming in on Aishi Ghosh, JNU Students Union President who shot to fame during the protests against the 2020 fee hike will be contesting now on a CPIM ticket from Jamuria constituency in West Bengal. Getting him further details in this report. 26-year-old Oishi Ghosh from Jawaharlal Nehru University will figure as one of the youth faces of the Communist Party of India's candidates as she is expected to contest from the Jamuria Assembly constituency of West Bengal. Oishi, who is also the leader of the Students' Federation of India, will be replacing incumbent MLA Johanara Khan as the CPIM candidate who had won with a margin of 43.29% votes during the last elections. The 25-year-old from Durgapur is pursuing her MPhil PhD from the School of International Relations in Jawaharlal Nehru University. CPIM has decided to field many youngsters, this time after several people, including TMC leaders, alleged that the party was burdened with aged leaders. In January last year, Oishi was severely injured when a group of masked attackers, armed with sticks, stormed the campus of JNU and attacked students and teachers and damaged the property of the Prime University. In a video shared on social media, Oishi, who had to be admitted to Ames Trauma Care Center, was seen crying while bleeding profusely from the head. Last year, Delhi police had registered an FIR, naming nine students, including Oishi Ghosh, in connection with the violence. In the FIR, Ghosh was held accused of vandalizing the university server room and manhandling and threatening guards. With Oishi Ghosh probably being the first sitting JNUSU president to contest assembly elections, it will be an interesting contest for the left party this time as it looks for its revival as well as survival in the upcoming West Bengal assembly elections. Bureau Report, Republic TV.